in the El Baton by J.C. Newman. It's in the Bellicoso. It's an Ecuadorian Habano with Nicaraguan binders and fillers. Let's see what it's about. It's spicy, nutty. Little bit of wood. Oh, 56 ring gauge. Bellicoso. Got a really nice wrapper. A little bit of veins, but a lot of little toothing that bumps. Good sign that it's going to hold a lot of flavor. medium strength. I really like on how this band is designed. Wavy on the burn line. But we're gonna see if it'll self-correct. It'll actually be a little stronger than medium. A little bit chocolatey. I kind of taste a little bit of gingerbread. If I had to do a little bit of a touch up, the wrapper stopped burning on the side and it needed the help. It's a little bit stronger than I thought it was going to be. I could only retro hit a little bit. It is slightly pepper, uh, probably from a lot of the binders and fillers but I'm curious what this would have been if I aged it longer. Construction's really nice. I like the feel, and the wrapper is really good construction even though I had to touch it up. Yeah, I can't retro this one anymore. It's too peppery. It stings my sinuses really strong. I'm probably smoking it too fast. It might not, I probably want to try this indoor if I'm gonna smoke it again. It's a good cigar. It's just a little too strong for me. I lost my ash. Um, it's mellowed out a little bit in the second, third. It's amazing on how smooth it is. Age Nicaraguan is pretty good and when it's smooth. End of the second third, even though it's mellowed out, I'm feeling pretty woozy, kind of nicotine sick, but it's okay. It's part of trying cigars that you're going to find some stuff that doesn't fit the palate, even though it's a good cigar. It's a nice fan. Oh, and on the inside, it gives you a QR code to check out their company, JC Newman. A pretty strong cigar. Strong. All right, but uh, that was the El Baton Bellicoso. It's been smoking. See you next time.